MMA Boxing Talk here. This is a post-fight video for Kamara Usman versus Colby Covington. Um, obviously, Usman winning by stoppage in the fifth round with about 50 seconds left in the fight. Um, <clears throat> what a performance. What a great fight, though, honestly. Um, it wasn't till about the 23-minute mark of the fight uh, that Usman really took over. You know, the last two minutes, basically, of the fight... He showed that he was, you know, he he, sh he showed that there was a gap there. Uh, but the first 23 minutes of that fight was very competitive, very exciting. I was thoroughly entertained by that one. Um, you know, no grappling or wrestling whatsoever. You know, it was all stand up. Um, very even little exchanges in the clinch, even even at that. Um, basically, a, a full out stand up. Back and forth. It was a war. It was an epic fight. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Um, but what a brutal finish, you know. Kamaru really... I know the, the, the stoppage was a little controversial, a little bit early. But um, I think even if... Well, there was 50 seconds left. So the position Kobe was in was not looking good. So I do think Usman had enough time to probably... To really finish him off, you know, and get a legit... A more legit stoppage so that was in the cards anyway if, if the ref wouldn't have stopped it so early and if the ref would have let it go to the cards Usman won that fifth round and in my opinion and the judge's opinion that fight had to come down to the fifth round uh, because if you if you look one of the judges going into the fifth one of the judges had it 3-1 Kamaru one had it 3-1 Usman or 3-1 or, uh, Covington and one had it 2-2 going into the fifth so Either way, both guys, to win the fight, they needed that fifth round uh, to win the fight. And, you know, if, if it would have went the last 50 seconds, clearly Usman won that fifth round, dominating him. Uh, what, a, what a fight, though. You know, hats off to both guys. They both impressed me a lot, you know. Um, you got to think, too, Usman broke Covington's jaw in the third round. And um, Covington, you know, showed a lot of grit fighting through that. And, and possibly winning that fourth round uh, after, you know, getting the jaw broken. But in the fifth, uh, you know, Usman was just too much. And, you know, he got the job done. He got him out of there. Um, so, great, great win for Usman. My prediction was uh, was definitely off, you know. Um, I had Co uh, Covington winning by decision. But what's interesting is that I didn't really see a, a scenario where Usman could win just using his striking, you know, I really thought he'd have to implement the wrestling, and I thought with his strength, um, he could do that, but, you know, wrestling takes a lot of energy, especially if you're trying to wrestle a guy like Kobe Covington, Division One. so Usman didn't worry about that, and he, you know, he, he was in a very, very close competitive fight the whole way through, and the last two minutes, he just took over. Now, you can make a case that, um, you know, Usman was landing the harder more significant shots, and I, I do think that's true. Um, and he did outland him. I believe the the final si significant strikes was one seventy five to one forty three. So, Usman, um, you know, it, it's so tough to score MMA. It's so um, subjective, and um, you know, proof proof is in the pudding. One of the judges had a three one for one guy. One of them had a three one for for Kobe. It's kind of weird. I think it was more. 2-2 two, two going into the, the into the fifth. That was how I had it. Um, but yeah, amazing fight. Hats off to, to Usman for defending his title. What's next for him? Hopefully, uh, Jorge Masvidal. I'd like to see that fight. It'd be very interesting to see. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section uh, about that fight, though. I really enjoyed it, like I said. Uh, definitely a classic Walter White fight. Not the fight of the year. But I think it's easily, in my opinion, it's a top five uh, fight of the year. It'll be a fight of the year candidate. I still have uh, Adesanya and Gaslam, number one. Even, um, you know, Holloway, Poirier was a really good fight as well. But uh, I'm going to put out a video on uh, Holloway's fight, you know, losing the title to Alexander Volkanovsky. That was crazy, um, you know. But stay tuned for that one. Um, let me know what you guys think. That's it for this one. Peace.